Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance and the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, there is quite a lot to talk about. We have XLM Stella releasing a new update today, which is very interesting. We've got Franklin Templeton filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF. That is huge. Obviously, the reason behind XRP price fall today, we've got Swan Bitcoin's custodian now owned by Ripple, which is bullish. The iPhone 15 has been unveiled today. It's pretty much the same thing just with a USB-C charger, just another way for them to make more money and increase their cash flow and cash in general, which is in the trillions of dollars, their cash reserves. Gary Gensler has officially testified at the Senate committee today, calling crypto basically a fraud. That guy is absolutely insane. Solana, why the impending danger, obviously is a blessing in disguise. I see it as a blessing in disguise, to be quite honest with you. Again, the $500 XRP price prediction. And yes, BitBoy Crypto's channel has officially changed. There's a lot to go through. Also, my oil stocks are absolutely flying today. And that is all up in the Patreon as well, by the way. So join up if you haven't. Let's get into the video, ladies and gentlemen. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, if you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well. Because as you can see right here, Right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, grow stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. This space is getting pretty crazy at the moment. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up and watch it straight through, it would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. All right. So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. It is over here now somewhere or down there, wherever. All right, thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. Do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Now, again, I'm going to go through my day trading bots as well. That is all set up in the Patreon, which is linked below. Quickly, ladies and gentlemen, yes, I'm just going to quickly show you my playlists. I have all of my playlists set up here. I've got dividend investing, dividend checkers, growth stocks, obviously some uh, you know crypto investing strategies and tips right here. That's the, the juicy one right there with 700 videos. Obviously, I've got my uh, day trading bots. I've got how to make money online. Uh, obviously, my... Uh, xrp playlist which is uh, fairly significant guys so again go check that out it's very very bullish community tab now again this is wild but there are now 10 active spot bitcoin etf applications and since 1.5 trillion dollar asset manager franklin templeton filed theirs today the race is on that is extremely bullish big money is coming into this space trillions and trillions of dollars people need to wake up and realize what is coming in this space next year uh, and again moving down we've got my bots on okx which are working really nicely i finally cracked thirteen thousand australian dollars on the six months guys which is wild i'm still up these are some of the trades that are currently open at the moment they're in profit i mean this one's on 15x leverage i mean they're not huge gains but i mean five usdt two dollars one dollar six dollars three dollars uh four dollars fifty two dollars thirty i mean these are on short positions it's just all adding up. So again, go check that out. It's in the Patreon and obviously Links you can below. copy. Sorry about that <laughs> siren there, guys. I thought someone was at my office. Now again, oil stocks are going crazy at the moment because of the uh, you know cut in supply uh, in the oil market, ladies and gentlemen. So again, stocks that I'm very bullish on, of course, are ExxonMobil. You've got Imperial Oil. USOI is an exchange traded note. Massive dividends on that and IMO. I've actually put that twice. Don't ask me why it's been a big morning. Uh, top old coins in the portfolio as well. We had BTT, we have VTHO, VChain, Tron, and VRA. 
a couple of coins which I'm extremely bullish on. Now, let's go to CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptos in Australia. They are an official partner of the channel. So please feel free to use the referral link below. If you are new to cryptos in Australia, you will get $10 in Bitcoin. Now, crazy this stuff, guys, because yesterday everything was down in the market. If you had bought yesterday, you'd be up. Like, I mean, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. But Bitcoin sitting at $40,000 today, up 2.8%. Ethereum's at two and a half thousand. You've got XRP at 76 cents. Cardano's at 39 cents. Doge is at nine cents. Solana at $28. Now, again, there is a lot happening with Solana. And uh, obviously this thing with FTX dumping on the market. Just want to point out, not financial advice, but if that happens, when it happens, I'm going to be literally backing up the track on Solana, the truck, not track. Uh, and uh, obviously dollar cost averaging into that because I did that when FTX collapsed. And uh, basically Solana absolutely plummeted and that's when I uh, took advantage of it because I've been, you know, I had my eye on it for a very long time. Polkadot's at $6.40, Polygonmatic $0.81, cents. Litecoin $96, Shiba Inu's up 1.68%, too many zeros for me to count there. XLM is at $0.19, cents. there are updates with Stellar, which is very, very nice. Chainlink is at $9, we've got Hedera at $0.07, cents. Uh, we've got ICP $4.71, VeChain is at $0.02, cents. Quant is at $148, I am still up on that, I bought it at $80. Uh, XDC is at eight cents. Algorand is at fourteen cents. Uh, we have Axie Infinity at six dollars seventy-two. I need to find a place where to stake that because again, uh, ASIC, the Australian regulator, uh, the securities regulator, basically stopped CoinSpot from the earn feature, which is an absolute pain in the ass. But that happens. <sighs> He's, they're probably speaking to Gary Gensler, to be quite honest. Uh, Neo's eleven dollars at the moment. IOTA's at twenty-five cents. We have Casper at five cents as well. And of course, Reef is one that I'm definitely bullish on. This is in the pennies, it's like penny stocks. Uh, and of course, we have XYO also up 0.66%. He's still in the pennies under a cent. Very, very nice. Now let's go to Crypto Bubbles. I have the Wall Street Bull University linked below, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, I put up all my buys, sells, trades, indicators, day trading bots, my futures grid trading bots, which have literally just turned into profit which is really nice. Uh, so everything is in the Patreon, guys. The full setups are in there. The 15-minute videos, you can go check that out. I'll probably do another one today at some stage if I get some time. And also my dividend investing, I've put up all the stocks that I've been dollar cost averaging into every single week. There is 1,184 posts in there, ladies and gentlemen. It is extremely bullish. Go join up to the official Patreon. It is linked below. And more importantly, I love speaking with everyone in there directly. It's very, very nice. And it's so much better than Discord. I mean, when you've got 20,000 people in there, it's very hard to pick up information and i didn't want that so i've kept this at five us dollars a month it is absolutely nothing i spend way more than that in coffee a day so i've just kept at that level and it's literally me you know documenting and showing you what's making me money and uh, i'm putting it up there to share with every single one of you and again it would be considered financial advice on youtube so again patreon is a lot easier to communicate that anyway link is below ladies and gentlemen and i'm going to show you my okx uh yes this is my official account i'm up five dollars at the moment yes it's been pretty volatile the last couple of days uh on the week i'm up 282 right here australian dollars on the month i'm still up eleven thousand five hundred ninety dollars, which is just insane uh, and of course, the six months here, I've just cracked that 13000 Australian dollar mark. Now, again, uh, you can see right here, I've got a few setups. I've got XRP, Ethereum, and Solana on futures grid trading bots. I'm going to put the full setups in the Patreon, so show you how to do this. Very straightforward. And yes, I'm up at the moment 1.48% right here. Solana's up for USDT at the moment 2%. And the market has been very volatile. Uh, the lead trading as well. Uh, you can copy trade me and it literally is automatic. So it's up to you, um, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's just move out of here, confirm. Yep, that's fine. Uh, so uh, you can see as you, uh, the profits that it's making are quite, you know, consistent. So I mean, look at these. I've got long positions opened up here, like 70%, $2, oh, I should say $2 USD. I like saying dollars anyway. Uh, you've got $4 right there, dollar, dollar, dollar. Uh, you can see all the green, uh, a couple of losses uh, in terms of, you know, at the moment they're down slightly, but I'm not too worried about that. As you can see right here, this is a good one. Uh, sorry, where is it right here? $3.62. Very, very nice trading. It's all in the Patreon, guys. Go check it out. Very, very bullish. Look at these ones. They're all short positions open up at the moment. So I'm trading both ways at the moment, long and short. Uh, you can copy trade me or you can actually do this yourself and uh, check out everything in the Patreon. All right. Anyway, 
Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen, because there's a lot to get through. Crypto bubbles on the day. Uh, you can see it's a sea of green. We've got RLB or Roll Bitcoin, 16% up at the moment. I'm not interested in that at 14 cents. VeChain is making moves. <laughs> this thing's been doing nothing for months. All right, it's up 11.6% today at one cent USD. I've been very, very bullish on VeChain. I've been holding it for a significant amount of time and uh, supply chain and logistics will move onto the blockchain eventually. Uh, Solana is up 2.4% here at $18. And yes, if FTX does dump, uh, obviously that billions of dollars worth of crypto, which includes a significant amount of Solana, I will be dollar cost averaging into it. That is for sure. Uh, now, what else we've got here, ladies and gentlemen? BCH, Bitcoin Cash. Now, I am trading this with uh, uh, obviously the day trading here. It's up 7.6% on the day. It's still up 65% on the year, 199 US dollars at the moment. Uh, probably not one if you are not interested in anything else other than Bitcoin. Uh, XRP bullish, 47 cents at the moment, at 1.6%. It is still up 41% on the year, which again, we're in uh, September at the moment. So this year is absolutely flying. Beautiful dollar cost averaging opportunity. I will buy some more. And let's go to XDC. The hype has calmed down on this a lot. Uh, this was absolutely pumping, but it's at 5 cents USD at the moment. 0.8% up on the day. Still up 99.6% on the year. So had you have bought this in January, you'd be up 100% on your money. This never happens in any other industry, guys. I'm just pointing that out. Now, of course, we've got Hedera at 2% up today at $0.04. Cents. Very, very nice. And uh, I'm still very bullish on Hedera and Hashgraph and Casper as well. Building quantum computers, working with IBM and Alphabet and Google. That is awesome. 1.3% up today at $0.03. Cents. Very, very nice. Now, XLM, uh, there were some updates. But uh, where we started, obviously, this is the whole background to this. And uh, world meet Stella right now. And today we are proud to unveil a brand uh, the captures the unrelating focus on utility. King, this is more than a tagline right here. It describes the partners we work with, the products built on chain and how they affect actual people. It applies to the humans who are building on the Stellar network and are thinking about real world problems that blockchain can help solve. The solo developers, entrepreneurs, large fintechs, policymakers and regulators and more if it puts people in the center of everything we do. And it states our promise plainly, Stellar is a blockchain for real world, for real people and build to solve real problems. And uh, obviously, you can see right here, obviously, you know, we are tackling big problems you need and with the, uh, sorry, and that's what SDF is here to do. Uh, now we've got, we help support network and help builders realize their ideas and potential and help create and access more financial services. That's been our mandate from the start. Everything we design right, create should reflect the helpfulness too. This includes the illustration style, our color palette, and even navigating new website. Illustrations of Stellar.org and other materials will help explain concept or ideas. Our colors will stand out. Now, again, very, very nice right here. And uh, uh, what's his name? Idris Alba, I believe his name is, did a video on, um, uh, what do you call it? On X uh, earlier this morning as well. And basically promoting cross-border payments, utility, peer-to-peer, -peer, business to business. That's essentially what it is. I mean, Ripple's already doing that. But anyway, moving on, we've got Franklin Templeton's filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF officially. And uh, again, a $1.45 trillion asset manager has filed for a Bitcoin ETF with the SEC for the first time. Coinbase has been chosen to act as the custodian for the Bitcoin held in the fund. However, a reference rate from the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, or CME, will be used for pricing. And the move from Franklin Templeton for, uh, follows a similar applications from financial titans such as BlackRock and Fidelity as the crypto market eagerly awaits a potential approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF. This is freaking huge. This is massive. Now, I mean, previous bull market, there was no interest of institutions starting an ETF. Now, all of them are getting on board because they realize that it's not going away. And uh, obviously, with this upcoming halving, obviously, that is literally going to increase the price of Bitcoin. That is an absolute no-brainer. Now, obviously, is Ripple the reason behind the XRP price fall to the two months lows? And uh, obviously you can see right here, last week, Ripple Labs made an announcement that it had acquired Fortress Trust and Fortress Trust, obviously, which is a financial institution heavily involved in the blockchain and Web3 space, was eagerly welcomed and given a carried out a premise of helping Ripple further its interest in the sectors of asset tokenization and cross-border payments. 
Now, I just want to point out as well, the XRP price has been consistent downtrend since the US SEC announced its intention to file an interlocutory appeal in the case against Ripple. In the two months that have followed Judge Annalisa Torres' ruling, the altcoin has shared obviously all its gains and shed, sorry, all of its gains and uh, from the victory. And now as the XRP price continues to struggle, speculations have, have erupted to the community on whether Ripple is to blame for the decline. No, it is not. Now, as you can see here, one of the, uh, obviously of these, meaning the lawyers, uh, who questions Bill Morgan right here, the lawyer responded on X formally posting that stated, uh, stating that Ripple had made Fortress Trust holders whole as part of the deal. I wouldn't want to think that Ripple sold a lot of XRP to fund the acquisition and bailing out Fortress customers, putting downward price pressure on XRP. However, he further went on to clarify that XRP was not only cryptocurrency that saw the price decline in the market. Another X user and well share on their thoughts on the matter, the account which goes by Moon Lambo, legend by the way, in favor of Ripple that the company already had substantial amount of cash, $1 billion in the bank. And of course, I can't say with certainty how they funded the purchase, but I suspect they didn't sell more XRP than normal to pay for it. So basically, did they sell a lot of XRP in order to fund the acquisition of Fortress? Anyway, I see that as a positive thing anyway. If they're using capital, big deal. I don't see that as a big deal. Moving on, we have the iPhone 15 unveiled today and uh, obviously incredible change in the amount of Bitcoin needed to buy a new iPhone. This is huge. I mean, they're so expensive and I mean, I'm using my iPhone at the moment. Um, I don't buy an iPhone every single year, probably every three or four years, maybe five years I've gone the longest. But at the Apple event held today, the company introduced its new products, obviously the iPhone 15 series. And the iPhone 15 US price was unchanged and set at 799 US dollars. So how many Bitcoin do you need, obviously, to spend to buy the new iPhone? Depending on the year, here's the amount of Bitcoin that uh, must be spent in that period to buy each series on the first day. This is crazy. iPhone 4 was 162, 553, so on and so on. XS 0.15, iPhone 11 right here. And again, iPhone 15 is 0 0.031 Bitcoin. Absolutely wild. When we apply the same method to Ethereum, interesting data emerges right here. If you're going to buy that new iPhone 15, it's going to cost you 0 0.51 Ethereum. And the started, the, uh, sorry, the standard iPhone 15 starts at $799, with the larger 15 plus starting at $899. And obviously, you can see the Pro Max will sell for $1,199 US dollars. Insane. And all they've done essentially is just upgrade a couple of things, probably to the M2 chip, and obviously the USB-C charger which is freaking annoying. Anyway, Chair Gary Gensler testified in the Senate. Here is uh, his statements about crypto. And uh, you can see right here, Chairman Gary Gensler also made interesting statements about the crypto market in his testimony at the Senate Banking Committee, which is ridiculous. Now he's saying, citing the Grayscale decision, Senator Bill uh, Haggerty right here asked Gensler, what they would need to see for the SEC to approve a Bitcoin spot ETF. And we're still reviewing the decision, he said, and uh, we have made multiple, we have multiple applications and we're reviewing them and awaiting uh, team's recommendations. Bunch of clowns. And while talking to Mark Warner about the AI deep fakes, Gary Gensler brought up the fake news about the world resign as the SEC chairman in July. Gensler said he speculated that the person behind the rumor wanted to influence the stock market and crypto prices. Gensler said the deep fakes and artificial intelligence are a real risk for markets. Unfortunately, there is a serious mismatch in the crypto space right now. The field is rife with fraud, abuse, and, mis and uh, maleficence right here. Gary, uh, Chairman Sherrod Brown defended Gensler's sanctions against crypto. Since you testified last year, Mr. Chairman, the collapse of FTX has shown how dangerous crypto can be. I don't think so. But FTX was, what an, uh, was not an isolated bad apple. It was just one uh, of the most glaring examples of the problem. The Crypto Congress in digital. We need to uh, obviously clean up the fraud and fraud as we evaluate asset regulation. I am pleased that the SEC is using the tools to enforce uh, those who abuse the law. Senator Cortez Masto right here asked whether the SEC had enough staff to address the fraud in crypto. Gensler, the organization is only 3% larger than uh, it was eight years ago, so we are not big enough. Gensler attacked crypto once again. I've been in the financial world for 44 years, and I've never seen an area so riddled with abuse. It's frightening. Senator Sen Sen Mina Sen Senema right here. We saw that you have legal problems regarding cryptocurrencies. How do you assess the agency's legal risk in terms of the uh, breadth 
of your rulemaking strategy, Gensler, we are committed to acting within our authority and interpreted by the courts. Yeah, of course, mate. Anyway, moving on. Don't want to talk about him. Solana, why impending danger could be blessing in disguise for Solana? And uh, again, I'm still bullish on Solana, guys. With the FUD around Sol heightened as FTX prepares to liquidate its holdings. However, some participants consider the declining prices an opportunity to accumulate. Do you think that's appropriate? Now, as expected, FTX imminent liquidation has left Solana in a sorry state. And the token, which has the biggest holding of a new collapsed exchange, dropped by $17.98, resulting in a 6.98% decrease in the last seven days. And due to the attention around Solana, the project's social dominance touched its highest point in 2023. Similar to market dominance and social dominance considers the share of voices uh, conversing about a project or token to get the value. Lunar Crush d uh, divides the social volume and the asset by the entire cryptocurrency market social volume, which is very, very interesting right now. But that's not all. According to the data shared by synonymous osmosis researcher Empower Osmo, the increase in social dominance brings back memories of the past. And uh, which is interesting, Emperor Osmo noted that the, the last soul's dominance reached such heights, the token value almost tripled. So, is it possible to experience a repeat to address these metrics like weighted sentiment would be useful? And uh, by definition, the weighted sentiment measures the unique social volume of assets by looking at the positive negative commentary on social platforms. And uh, again, I'm so bullish on this. And if it does happen, I'll be just again accumulating much much more and yes yesterday i did this video obviously the wells fargo manager predicts xrp price will reach 500 dollars. what do you think about that and uh, the reason behind this obviously because there is 250 trillion dollars in cross-border payments that will be around in 2027 so again the price would need to be significant bitboy crypto ends obviously you can see that they changed it to discover crypto i did check it out and uh whatever man i don't know what's going on there uh, it's a bit weird to be quite honest with you and uh, obviously ben has started his own channel i mean all for the, you know him to start his own thing but uh again it's just weird what's happened there guys it really is very strange uh obviously bioflow is going into ethereum right now we've got bnb xrp arbitrum we have optimism as well world coin uh shiba inu xlm which is very very nice and yield guild games that's one i haven't seen for a while let's go to x and yes i'm at the wall street bull oz ladies and gentlemen thank you to those 5438 people you guys absolutely rock and if you're watching this long in the video you rock also here is the copy link trading um obviously for okx you can literally copy everything that i'm doing you will need an okx account you cannot use this in the united states the united kingdom or canada don't ask me why it's just not allowed you cannot trade with leverage and yes this is the reason why i'm partnering with okx because you can trade with leverage uh on okx not binance which is annoying uh we've got the rothschilds yes drops a bombshell right here and ripple and xrp mentioned in the annual report that is huge uh, again, $16.6 trillion is coming for crypto and you are not bullish enough. Truth. Moving on, we have some interesting stuff here. The, the oil stocks are going parabolic at the moment because of the supply restriction that's happening with OPEC. Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 30 at the moment. Uh, we have Stuart Alderotti and Brad Garlinghouse uh, speaking on stage at Mainnet. That is going to be absolutely bullish. Cannot wait for that. Ripple president reveals over 10 countries have officially signed to integrate XRP in their CBDC system. That is insane. Thank you, Crypto Geek, for that one. Johnny Deaton, let's have a quick listen. Frustrated, and I know you are, because enough of the damn letters, man. It is time to issue subpoenas, congressional subpoenas, where they, they do not... Uh, get complied with you get a court order you send the marshal down there to start bringing people in before the the committee i'm it's rarely done i don't know why it's why i hate democrats and republicans together equally because they seem to to almost have this unwritten rule well we won't go that far we'll write letters and we'll pontificate and we'll engage in rhetoric but we're not going to actually institute some type of change it is time for that gary gensler is a cancer on the american economy he is a cancer on innovation and it's not just him but he's the head of the of the sec they're leading the fight it is time to get him out of there by putting pressure in real oversight 
Truth. Thank you, Johnny Dean. Absolute legend, mate. Now, we've got top economist Muhammad al Arin right here. It says, Bitcoin and crypto is settling as part of the ecosystem. Have a quick listen to this. It's been institutionalized. This maturation process is good. Do you worry about that? I do. I think Jamie is absolutely right in saying that higher capital requirements is not the answer to what happened in March and April. March and April was a problem of supervision mm -hmm. that the problem was identified, but nothing was done to force these banks to deal with the maturity mismatches. To then react and increase capital yet again is not the right policy response. And there was a risk that that will, will not just lower credit, but push it into the non-bank segment. And that segment is well less supervised and regulated. I was going to um, move on to crypto, if you'd indulge me for a second, because we always have these crypto conversations. And there seems to be this thing happening. I don't know if, Joe, we were talking about $25,000 yep. uh, with Bitcoin. <clears throat> Meanwhile, BlackRock and all of these folks, all the folks that we thought were never going to do this, are now doing it, and yet it's not moving at all. Well, it's and, moving today. Well, I mean, sure, 26. This is 26. It was four when, when we started saying it wasn't going anywhere. 4,000. Four. Oh, well, OK. <laughs> But so, but the question is: Is this now a risk on a risk off thing? What do you? How do you even correlate this to what's happening with the Fed? Because for a long time, you used to talk about crypto in regard to the Fed. So, so I think crypto settling as part of the ecosystem. I think people have recognized it is not the new global currency. People have also recognized it's not going to disappear tomorrow. It's becoming institutionalized. And I think actually, if I were a crypto person, I think this maturation process is a good thing. Um, where it moves from day to day. It's, I can't really comment on that. I still think it's... it's there you go. It's being institutionalized, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, quickly, guys, this is a long video. Let's go to the total market cap. $1.03 trillion, $35 billion in volume. It is quite low. Obviously, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm not going to go into that. It doesn't really interest me at the moment. Uh, this is my portfolio. It gets put up in the Patreon every single day, ladies and gentlemen. So go join up. It is linked below, and I'll put it in the comments pinned. Uh, and of course, I've got my banking coin list. This is in the Patreon. Also, I've got some new additions, as I keep mentioning. Energy Web, Salo, WorldCoin, Flare, Sologenic. I also have Corium in there. Uh, Moby, which is one that I have to have a look into. I've just been too busy. Obviously, SHX. Uh, we also have DAG in there as well. These are the ultimate coins. And yes, I need to put Solana in here. Again, Solana is working with Visa, which makes it, in my opinion, a payment rail banking coin. There you go. Anyway, guys, that is it. Thank you very much. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. I hope you have a good evening, a good afternoon, and a good morning. And if it's morning, go and have an espresso because I'm about to have one as well. All right. Join the Patreon. Follow me on social media. Everything is linked below. You guys absolutely rock. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Peace out. Bye. Thank you.